That's the primary right by the orange flag. Today we are removing some burrowing owls from a, from a mining unit area that's going to be mined up here in the future. It's possible. I saw it over. Burrowing owls are protected species, so in the process of mining, which is an otherwise legal activity, if you impact protected species, you have to develop some kind of plan that, that compensates for that impact. Mosaic is committed to developing wildlife programs that benefit the wildlife. And you can see one bird a little farther to the left. So what we developed was a um, experimental translocation program where we um, uh, humanely trap a burrowing owl at its burrow. The shrubby thing and then you can see the, the flag way back there. It's kind of in between both of those. Well the trick is to, to find out first where the owls like to roost. Uh, they, they land on the ground, they tend to be on the ground. And once we know where those sites are, uh, we can put special carpets that have nooses on it. So these are the noose traps that are just slit knots. They really don't mind the traps. They'll land right on top of them. The trick is to flush the owls, make a move, and then when they come back to their favorite roosting sites, they get caught in those traps. Their flight distance is like about 50 feet, so they'll allow us to get that close. And we can do that very safely without any risk of injury. All right, got him. Got him? Yep. Hey there, Bubba. All right, so you want to do this on the left leg. Correct. Uh, and then we take a few measurements. One sixty-one. Since we banned the birds, and the idea is to crimp it down as well as possible. We want to be um, uh, good neighbors to not only our community but the wildlife on our property. I mean, trapping owls is always uh, unpredictable. Uh, today we had a red-tailed hawk try and get one of the owls. We were in the process of trapping. The owl escaped down its burrow. You want to try to reach in there? We are waiting for him to come out. I got him. Yep. Got him. Yep. Yep. Let me get a right grip on him. Okay. Hold it okay. Got him. Move the trap back. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Releasing them is the easy part. Getting them to stay where we release them is the harder part. Ready? The goal is to have that animal establish a home territory and colony and, and reproduce at a new site well away from mining activities so it can set up a whole new permanent home. So we actually construct these large enclosures and we put the owls in there and leave them there for as many as 30 days. They usually go down to the far end. Uh, the idea is for them to be able to see their surroundings, get accustomed to the burrows that are there, uh, and so that when we eventually release them from the enclosure, they're quite content to stay at the site we've released them at. We're hoping that this um, experimental translocation program will um, be successful. We have had some success with it, and makes it makes me feel good uh, to know that we're helping the wildlife um, and, and doing responsible relocations and taking care of the animals.